Hello everyone. Today we're going to go through how to create a job offer template and have that automatically pull data from the application record as well as the candidate um, to create that document. So first of all, let's show kind of the end result so you know what you're going to create here. So let's say you're sitting in a job, you have a candidate, Shaquille O'Neal, and he is going to be the candidate getting an offer. You would open up the application and in this test case, what I've done is I created a field called Make Offer and it's a checkbox. I have a variety of other fields hidden behind here for offer details. So that way, recruiters or, or salespeople, they don't actually see anything unless they hit make offer. So these are all hidden, and there's a business rule that says, if this box is checked, display these additional fields. So as a recruiter, you would come in here and say job title, account sales rep, um, start date. This is obviously a potential start date. So we'll just put out the 28th. We'll do 27 days of PTO. I already had that populated from earlier and we'll get our save. So now once you've got that data saved, you can simply come up here and say Word Templates. Drop this down. I've already got a template in here created and imported. It says full-time offer template. Now you may have full-time offer template Canada, full-time offer template Denmark, Spain, all these different uh, regions where you may have job offers going out to, or part-time, independent, etc. In this case, I'm going to select full-time job offer. This is going to grab my template. It downloaded it to my desktop, and we'll see what it looks like. Let's bring this over here. You can see here, this is my template. I've got the, con the candidate's information in here, got the name, the title, the company, um, the rest of your information here as far as compensation, days, and it's already highlighted in yellow, so that way you get to be the last line of defense before something goes out. So you can look through everything and you see everything that's been auto-populated in yellow, make all your edits, and then obviously you would just highlight it and uncolor it all, and then save, um, name it, whatever you want, and go ahead and email that out to a candidate. So we'll go ahead and close that down. Next, I'm going to show you how to actually import in a template and map it to those fields. So first things first, what you need to do is get your offer template. So this is going to be my example template. I've got in here the header, I've got a logo, and I've got my key data in here. I've highlighted this just for representation purposes. So we'll go ahead and close that down. I've got my template. Next, you want to come up here to Settings, Templates. Then we'll go to Document Templates. Now we're going to create a new template hit Word Template. In my case, I'm going to select the application entity and select Entity. Don't hit Upload. So we hit Select Entity. Um, you can go through in here and pick and choose. I find it quicker just to go ahead and hit them all. Download Template. And it's downloading that template, which means it's going to be um, linked in and it's going to have some metadata from CRM. So this is what was just created. So we're going to open this up. Now we're going to be mapping the fields from the candidate and the application entity into the actual document. So first of all, if we want, we can go ahead and paste this data in. So pull up your old original job template, copy it, paste it in here. So you've got your template in here. Now you need to get developer in this, this section up here if it's not already there. So right click, customize the ribbon, and there's developer, add developer in there. I promise you won't be doing any coding, um, but now you're going to hit developer. XML mapping pane, then you're going to look for CRM. So as you can see right here, Microsoft-CRM, you want to connect in right there. So that's going to open up and you're going to be able to see here you've got your, your entity here, job application form. This is going to be all the fields on the job application form. So first of all, let's highlight, actually let's just call that full name, which is actually what that should have been in the first place. So full name. Uh, it's okay with the space there. This is just an example. And we're going to come into candidate name, which will be right here. Right click it, then come in here, plain text. So now you've got your candidate full name. Now you want to do street name. Well, the street name is not on the job application form, but it is on the candidate entity. So if you scroll down here, you've got to find it. I believe it is going to be right here. Candidates underscore DCRS job application. Open this one up because you're basically looking for candidate. Then you want to get to street name, DCRS underscore street one. Right click, come in here, put that there. Uh, so on and so forth. City, you're essentially going to come in here, right click, and come over here, plain text. Um, state, it's going to be the same all the way across the board, but we will go ahead and, and go through the, the full example. So, 
zip Put that right here. Uh, we'll just do first name right here, which is ultimately on the candidate entity. So we can come in here and do first name. So I'm not going to do every single one of these, but you will notice that job title, that's going to be found on the application, not the candidate. So we're going to scroll all the way up underneath the job application form. So let's look for job title, which was a field that I created. I believe it's new underscore job title. There it is. Plain text. Company name, you know, this is typically the account that is on the job um, or the application. Um, now, internal HR departments, you're probably going to want to maybe just automatically have every job tagged as, as underneath your company name or account. Uh, but for this example, we'll just do placeholder there and start date. I believe I've got new underscore start date in here, which is on the application entity. Uh, job title is essentially going to be the same as what we had there. I'm not going to go in and edit that. Um, annual salary. I've got a field that you saw earlier, so we'll put that in there. And PTO, and that'll be the last one we'll do for this example. Uh, so new underscore vacation days, plain text, and you know you would essentially put the candidate's full name there as well. So what I'm going to do right now is go ahead and just um, save that. So we've got it. Close that down. That's Microsoft throwing a bug at me. We're back here sitting in templates. You want to hit upload template. I always recommend renaming this document to exactly what it's going to be. So for example, we'll see if my desktop here will behave. Rename, we're gonna call this the full-time USA offer letter because you may be doing business in, in other countries as well and have a different offer letter. So you're gonna drag that in there, hit upload, and now you've got your full-time offer letter. And that is all you need to do. And essentially underneath the application entity, anytime you're sitting on an application, you would be able to pop in here, hit Word Templates, and you would see all of your different templates. Part-time offer letter US, part-time offer letter Spain. You know, all your different offer letters would be there, and it would harvest all that data for you. Um, hope this was a great example, and let us know if you have any questions.